Less than nine months after Ghost Recon 2's release, the latest installment of the franchise, Summit Strike, delivers more of everything that has made the series one of the most popular tactical shooters on the market. Advertised as a standalone expansion and retailing for only $30, the game offers enough depth and quality gameplay to satisfy its large fan base while proving to be the complete package for newcomers. One of the first things you'll notice when booting up Summit Strike is its slick presentation. The story unfolds nicely as you follow the Ghost Unit out of North Korea and into Kazakhstan, where the Kazakh president has been assassinated by a rising Pakistani warlord. The loyal soldiers in the region team up with UN ground forces to stabilize the area when your team of ghosts is brought in to neutralize the uprising and capture the enemy leader. Briefings before the outset of each mission are clear and concise as live feeds and snapshots are streamed to your character's laptop and updated throughout the missions. The missions are open-ended and allow you to direct your team to meet the objectives in any order you choose. As is the case with Ghost Recon 2, you direct your squad by issuing commands on the fly. The commands in Summit Strike are exactly the same as its predecessor and are limited to basic flanking, suppress, hold, and move out orders. Move up. Your squad is intelligent, but there are instances where they don't take the optimum route after being given a command. However, they rarely get hung up on objects in the environment, 